Okay, so I have actually bitten the bullet and I have entered the world of Amazon's Echo Dot. It is one of those newfangled gadgets that I resisted for quite a long time. I really don't know why. Um, but um, a friend recently told me that he had purchased one and had been using it and was really enjoying it. So I went ahead, spent the, uh, the 40 bucks for it, and I discovered that you can actually do quite a lot with ham radio using your Alexa. So I thought I'd give a quick demonstration of that. And you notice that she just came on because I said her name. Alexa, stop. So let's give this a try. We're going to start out with um, one of the most basic things that everybody wants to know. Alexa, open band conditions. Band conditions now. 160 meter band is dead. 80 meter band is dead. 40 meter band is fair. 30 meter band is good. 20 meter band is poor. 17 meter band is dead. 15 meter band is dead. Thank you. No worries. So let's move on to the next one here. Alexa, ask propagation report for band status. Here is the propagation report from M0MBH from Wednesday, May 2nd, 2018 at 12 a.m. Today expect 80 and 40 meters to be fair, 30 and 20 meters to be poor, 17 and 15 meters to be poor, and 12 and 10 meters to be poor. Tonight expect 80 and 40 meters to be good, 30 and 20 meters to be poor, 17 and 15 meters to be poor, and 12 and 10 meters to be poor. Thank you. Of course. Okay, we'll try one more that I've got on here, and it's uh, this is one of the more buggier ones on here. It doesn't quite work as well as I would like for it to, um, but I've been messing around with it a little bit, and it's, it's a lookup for your call signs. Alexa, ask Ham Lookup to look up W9SPY. W9SPY is a general class license holder located in Seattle, Washington. The license belongs to Curta Rollett. Curta Rollett, huh? Okay, thank you. I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. That's okay. Anyway, um, I think there are probably there are probably some more um, uh, ham radio apps that I haven't discovered yet, but I'm going to keep looking for them. But this is actually pretty handy. You know, you're Especially, you can do something like this hands-free. You know, you're working, working some radio, and uh, you know you don't want to stop and open up a web browser to go look up a call sign, or you can just check the band conditions anytime that you want. And I don't know if you're familiar with um, with the Alexa, and you use your cell phone for um, all the different uh, skills that you want to add to it. Up here, let's see. I have got. You'll see on this one I've got the band conditions app skill rather and then through here it's ham radio propagation forecast and then the next one is ham lookup so you go ahead and install those skills on your Alexa and allow you to um, do all of that stuff let's try one more on ham lookup Alexa ask ham lookup to look up Kilo Golf Sorry, 7. that doesn't seem to be a valid call sign. I know, I'm just getting started here. Hang on a second. Alexa, ask Ham Lookup to look up KG7ODB. Sorry, something went wrong. So that's kind of what, what happens with this, uh, especially on the Ham Lookup. Everything else seems to work well. But you have to really get specific and pronounce each word quite well. Let's try this again. Alexa, use ham lookup. Alexa, use ham lookup to look up KG7ODB. KG7ODB is an extra class license holder located in Seattle, Washington. The license belongs to Dean Akucha. And uh, KG7ODB is my friend Dean. And uh, I'm sure he doesn't mind appearing in this video. I mean, it's public information. Everybody 
can look up on the uh, database. Anyway, there is a quick overview of Alexa for ham radio. Thanks for watching.